Is your game or app crashing with a DirectX error that says, co-initialize failed with error 0x8001010? You're not alone. This issue can affect any PC or laptop, whether you're using Intel, AMD, or Nvidia on Windows 10 or 11. In this video, I'll walk you through a step-by-step -step method to fully fix this error. No guesswork, no random tips, just real working solutions tested on multiple systems. So stay with me, I promise by the end, you'll be back in your game. Let's first understand what this error actually means. The message, DirectX function co-initialize, failed with HR, 0x8001010, means your system is unable to start the DirectX thread properly. This usually happens because of a broken DirectX runtime, conflicting background apps or overlays, incorrect GPU driver behavior, or problems with how Windows handles system threads. The good news? It can be fixed permanently. One, restart and run as admin. Start with the basics. Restart your PC. This resets any background threads that could be conflicting. Then right-click your game or application shortcut. Choose run as administrator. This alone solves the problem for some users, especially if a background process was blocking it. Two, force the game to use DirectX 11. Some games or apps try to use DirectX 12, which can cause thread conflicts on certain systems. Let's force them to use DirectX 11. Go to your game launcher. In the launch options, add this. DX11. If your game has a settings file, change the render option from DX12 to DX11. This makes the game more compatible with older and newer systems alike. Three, clean reinstall your GPU drivers. This fix applies to all graphics cards, not just AMD or Nvidia. Download the Display Driver Uninstaller DDU tool. Link is in the description. Boot your PC into safe mode. Run DDU and remove your graphics driver completely. Restart your PC normally. Download and install the latest GPU driver from your official GPU brand website. This ensures you're starting fresh with no corruption or leftover files. Four, reinstall DirectX runtime. Even if Windows says DirectX is installed, the error can occur due to missing or broken files. Here's what to do. Go to the official Microsoft website. Download the DirectX End User Runtime Web Installer. Run it and let it replace or repair any broken DirectX files. Link is in the video description. This has solved the error for hundreds of users across all systems. Five, disable background GPU or overlay apps. Some apps hook into DirectX in the background. These include Discord with hardware acceleration, Steam or Xbox overlays, Nvidia GeForce Experience, AMD Adrenaline Software, MSI Afterburner, OBS, Bandicam, or Screen Recorders. Close all of these apps before running your game or application. They often initialize threads before your game can, causing the co-initialize error. Six, install all Windows updates. Sometimes, this error appears due to missing system patches or updates. Here's how to check. Go to Settings, Windows Update. Click Check for Updates. Install everything, especially optional updates. Some updates include hidden fixes for system-level errors, like the one you're seeing. 7. Run in compatibility mode. For older games or apps, try this. Right-click the game or app icon. Go to Properties, Compatibility. Take Run this program in compatibility mode for, and choose Windows 8 or Windows 7. Also, check Run this program as administrator. Apply changes and relaunch. Older games are not always built to handle Windows 11 or DirectX 12 threading properly. 8. Clean boot your system. This fix works when nothing else does. Press Windows plus R, type config, and press Enter. Go to the Services tab. Check Hide all Microsoft services. Then click Disable all. Go to the Startup tab and open Task Manager. Disable all startup apps. Restart your PC. Now try launching the game. This disables all third-party services that might be interfering with DirectX initialization. You can always turn services back on later. These fixes work across all systems, Intel, AMD, or Nvidia, laptops or desktops, old or new hardware. And best of all, they're completely safe. If this video helped you fix the issue, please hit that subscribe button. Here at We Create Real Solutions for Gamers, not just generic tips. Drop your specs and problem in the comments and I'll personally help you out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next fix.